I always loved making things. I was very hands-on when I was young. I kind of thought maybe I wanted to be a landscape architect or a gardener or something which felt, felt very, again, um, very hands-on. At a very young age, I also started making pieces of furniture and, and painting the different colours. There was always an element of making something, craftsmanship, yeah. colour, optimism, all of those things were always kind of part of what I was inspired by. And I guess that that's kind of led on to what I became as a designer. And because I had a quite a practical background of studying furniture making before, and then even when I started my degree at Glasgow School of Art, it was in product design. But it was always in the back of my head that I loved designing products and, and interiors or, or, or furniture. But I also loved the way fashion is a way of somebody expressing themselves. And it, there's a human element to it, which I found really inspiring. Mm -hmm. But I also find it really comes alive when it comes to mixing materials together, because everything I do is about not just the thing in isolation, it's about that, beside that, beside that. Jumping back to, to the collaboration with the rug company, one thing that always struck me, and it was good that I had that experience before I've actually started designing my furniture again, because you rely on so many different people and be involved in the process, and it just takes so long. Because, you know, colour is a real key element to it, and the colour has to be perfect, and to match that colour takes such a long time to be able to get it um, exactly the right tone. And especially when you're mixing fabrics like silk and wool, and I think this is the first collection that we've done where we've done so many combinations of silk and wool together. I think overall, I think what I wanted to do was have an impression of lightness. And so I think by the nature of that kind of driving force, the tones and the colours become neutral, I guess. In terms of, because I know it's your second collection for the right yeah. company, how, are you, how do you approach the design of these? Well, I had a trip to Japan, and so I was looking a lot at very simplistic graphic muslins crossing over together and creating a kind of secondary in, uh, colours. Yeah. There's, there's always an architectural element of yeah. what I do, and I think that simplistic silhouettes of architectural buildings and plans yeah. are kind of always been something that's quite interesting that I've looked at before. Yeah. But I feel quite different from my, from my work in many ways. Maybe it's because when you're surrounded by colour and pattern constantly and you're working with all of those elements yeah. that you're kind of, for your own decision-making process, you want to neutralise it. Yeah. Maybe it's that. Uh, what in your home, apart from these new rugs, is your most treasured possession? Um, I have a painting by Alan Jones, which is a British artist that I really love and appreciate. Um, and so that was one of the first painting, like a, a real painting that I'd bought. And the photographs of my family. I, you know, I love having my family around me. I, I don't see them that much. My family are my friends here in London and yeah. living far away. So I try to surround myself with as many of them as possible. Um, so I guess they're my most precious.